uh, my POI is through chat box and I will start my speech in three, two, one. Panel, the world is more, more most likely more realistic than you are, uh, than the opposition have uh, imagined, right? The, we have demanding, we have, uh, we have social, we have social, social demanding that we have to, uh, what we have to compete uh, in in our world. That is why we as a government we are regretting the narrative of that always uh, should be grateful because of what we're going to explain later. That is. Our stand is we are degrading the construct where everyone should be grateful. We, we like, i.e., we uh, normalize like uh, com uh, complaining and all that. And the burden of proof that should be answered by the both of them. What is world look like when the narrative is happen, and what what is counterfactually when this narrative is not exist? And second, what is grateful anyway in 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 this in this in this debate? And that is why. Welcome to my first argument. Okay, first, why it is justified? Okay, before that, what, what is grateful anyway? Right, grateful is the is you know the 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 point where you are accepting what you have, what you uh, uh what you have or what you do in no matter what the case or no matter what the status quo really is. You might be poor, you might be uh you might be sick, but you might be uh all that, but you have to accept it anyway. Because that is the that is what the condition that is what great uh, grateful looks like in their world. But uh, panel, please understand that this kind of thing is actually not applicable in all in all people, right? There, there is still a lot of people who are not who are who are not qualified, who are not having the privilege to actually ha uh, ha uh, having to be grateful, right? For example, like money, power, and all that, right? When people are actually forced to be grateful in our in in our world, like for example, like you are a tukang beca, for example, you are forced to be uh, you are forced to be grateful when you are only eating once a day and all that, right? And for our for example, like when you are having a mental health or you have you don't having a support system in your in your family and all that, you have to be grateful just because you have uh, uh just because you have a parents and all that right that is what uh what world uh, when we force grateful when this happened was actually uh eliminate all the validation that will that that should be have by the uh by the subject right when for example like when you when you don't have privilege for, but uh you have to be forced to be uh Careful. There's only two options when uh, the outcome that will come out first that, that you are on simply blame when you are when uh, on your hard work or simply people don't have awareness on what your main problem is first for uh, the portrayal of what uh, people blame it on your hard work. Right? For example, like you don't have any uh, you know orang dalam and all that in your comp in the company and you don't accept in your company. You should be grateful because uh, you know. Um, you maybe have you should do some more hard work and all that, but the and and this also creating that they don't have the awareness about what the main problem is because that is the previous problem, right? That is kind of thing that uh, the, uh, you don't have in the very first place to actually uh, achieve success, right? That is why uh, your validation is not uh, uh, is not going to be uh, get in your. Uh, uh in your side of in your side okay what and what if and what if the narrative is actually doesn't exist for example like when uh when you are lacking of resources and when you're lacking of uh, ability to actually save something and uh you uh you lack of ability to you have to have ability to feel enough you are you are going to be validated more in our side when you actually uh you know uh i normalize uh be uh complaining something right like people uh People won't be condemn you anymore for being to complain, being to being to complain, and and people won't won't uh, 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 stamping you as a you know tukang ngeluh and all that. You will get more validated. And why this validation is actually uh, actually matter because it it uh, it give you uh it give you less insecurities. For example, when you have the, those validation, right? When when you uh, when you have those uh. And you have those validation in the end of the day that they actually, you know, feel feel that you are uh feel that you are having uh enough and all that, right? And 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 that is why, and that is why the self accept the self accepting or or, or uh the self acceptive stigma will be uh, more. Possible in our side, in our side, rather than the opposition side, where where we actually eliminating all the uh all the 
all, all the self validation and that is why and the, and that is why we're so proud to propose thank you all right uh thank you so much to prime minister for the fine speech uh now to open the case of team opening opposition i would like to welcome leader of up here hey my audible sorry about that yeah sure you are all right give me a moment i'll set up my timer again my pi preferences to the mic i will not be reading the chat and my pronouns are he him I'll begin my speech in three, two, one. Panels. When the world we are living in is so cruel, where people have people are born into like rich or poor families, that, and they do not, they absolutely do not get a choice as to like the the way that they are born, whether or not they're going to be rich or poor, whether or not they're going to live into like an abusive family or like a happy family. We say that it is very fundamental that we give these people a ray of some sort of hope, some sort of something that they can hold on to to be happy to be able to be happy, to be able to push themselves through any difficulty, because without that, how are they going to survive? How are they going to have that light that's going to guide them out of this darkness that they are living in? But, okay, moving on to my setup. What does being grateful look like on our side? First of all, being grateful means to have hope, to have hope with yourself and other people, to be able to have faith in this world and to be happy despite hardship, to be able to compartmentalize and ensure that to ensure that you would be happy to be and with hope you're you would be able to pick apart like okay what 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 do i have right now what can i use to make myself happy what can i even even with the struggles that they have we say that with hope they would be able to compartmentalize and realize that hey even though this is happening we at least at the very least have this and it's human nature to want to be happy, right? And we say that our side is better exactly because we utilize that human nature to want to be happy. Our side provides a safety net for these people to hold on to when they are purely struggling. Hope is very important. Why? Because one, it keeps these people going. Because how are they going to keep going when there's no hope, when they, when all they see is darkness, when they just keep living life through a pessimistic view, just thinking to themselves that, oh, like nothing's going to change, nothing's going to be better. And without hope, these people will not be able to go on. Your side cannot achieve hope on your side when your side is just not giving, absolutely not giving these people any some any sort of um, rope that they can hold on to. Now, who are the vulnerable actors within the debate? We say that the vulnerable actors within the debate would be people who, people within like the lower class society. These people within the lower class society have to struggle each and every day just so that they can survive. They are born to they're born to this life and they have to experience hardship hardship each day due to their purely because they are born into a poor, poor family, due to their economic status. They're actively being oppressed, they're actively being um erased, they're actively being pushed against to be nothing. Even if opposition says says that, oh, rich people also have struggles and they're not happy all the time, which you say that, well, yeah, well, it is true that rich people can struggle and that struggle can happen to everyone. Please acknowledge that rich people do not say. Uh, do not experience the same struggle, the, the same economic struggle that these lower class society people do. They have money. They they have money. They have wealth. They have um. They have a. Uh, they have better healthcare, etc. These are literally things that would be able to solve ninety nine percent of lower class people's struggles. And we say that these ish, their struggles are not the same. It's asymmetrical. Moving on. What does the current status quo look like? The current within the within the current status quo, like I've said, people have economic struggles, right? There are the rich and their support. The people, while the rich gets to live their life, going to different countries, going to travel, going to school, having unlimited health care, the poor have to struggle each day due to, exactly due to because the, of the state that they're born in, the economic state that they absolutely cannot uh, escape from. And we say that um, that is very urgent, right? But now, what is the urgency within, the, within our side? We say that when these people cannot just like jump out of this like social um, social status, right? Their poverty, right? They cannot just escape it. They're all they're all, always going to struggle. There needs there needs to be a way for them to keep their head up. There needs to be a way for them to look in the bright to be able to stay happy within the midst of all of this. They do not have a way to escape. So the last you thing are. they want is to lose hope. Okay, go ahead. Um, how does your narrative look like? Like, how do you enforce certain gratefulness toward these particular vulnerable people? Um, acknowledge that this debate is is to look at the world if 
the people are already where people have to be grateful. So we do not have, so we can't argue about mechanisms and et cetera. Um, I was um, continuing on. There needs a way to be way to, for them to keep their heads up. They do not have a way to escape. The last thing they want is to lose hope. And with hope, when they do not have hope, they do not have a chance to be happy. And with that, how are they even going to escape poverty in the first place? An opposition side can say that maybe we're upholding this toxic positivity. But we say that at the very least, opposition side is doing something, right? To ensure that these people have, at, least, at the very least have a safety net, even if they're a struggle, that they have, um, that they have something to fall onto, which your side is not, when your side is not doing anything, we said that our side is um, comparatively better. A couple of responses that I have for your side. Your side, your side mentioned how we are based, we are, our side is basically like self, these people would be self-sabotaging themselves, but we say that this will happen on your side. The funny thing is because it will be much worse when people do not have this hope tolerance. They will literally destroy themselves when they, they do not have hope. Because when they live in a world where they literally look at each and every one of the people around them with such a pessimistic view, they will literally destroy themselves. They will literally not do anything in the first place. And that at the very core is self-sabotaging, which your side will be achieving when your side is not giving these people any sort of um, hope to hold on to. That is the problem with your side of the house. Now, before, before moving on to my contributions, is there any more POI? Going once, going twice, going three times. So I assume you agree, right? First contribution on why this serves as a hope for the bullet reactor, which I'll elaborate under two layers. First of all, on the layer of birth lottery, acknowledge that these people do not get to choose how they're born. They do not get to choose the family that they're born in. They do not get to choose the, eco the economic status that they're placed within. They are poor with no choice and they are, they have to struggle each and every day with no choice. We say that when these people can, when these people, um, when they're born into such a life that they just, where, where they obviously have to struggle, right? We say that at the very least, we need to have some sort, um, that these people need to have some sort of mechanism, some sort of way that they could use to have happiness for themselves. And secondly, on the layer of moral compass, we say that this serves as a moral compass for the people because it guides them through life. It gives them hope as to why, as to why, as to why they could just go on, which is important because if they don't, they're gonna give up. And at the very least, and at the end, they like it's all gonna be for nothing, right? Um, we say that this also this will also be used for them to make the to make choices, and with that, we are very proud to oppose. All right. Uh, thank you so much, the leader of Up for the Fine Speech. Uh, now to extend the case of team opening government, I would like to welcome the Deputy Prime Minister here. Hello, check. Uh, am I audible? Yes, you are. Okay. Uh, will I reference through the chat box? Wait a minute. Okay, I'm uh, I'm gonna start my story for one second. Okay, I'm gonna start my speech in three, two, one. Judges, here's the framing, right? What this opposition need to prove is that that this particular individual is always to be grateful, right? How it is always to be grateful look, look like that opposition need to defense is that regardless how fucked up you're living, how bad you are living, you are uh, people will always perceive you to always be grateful, right? For example, you are you are living in poor and you are always complaining why your life is uh, so poor and you are your your feels like your fate is unchangeable in your side, but people will still like invalidate your the fact that your struggle in, uh, under the system of uh, that are very poor and then. Uh, people are saying that uh, it's okay for you. You have to be grateful because you are still living. You are still uh, could move here and anywhere, and you still could uh, live in the happily in, inside of the earth, right? So we think like, this is the things that needs to be uh, defined by the opposition, right? By why even if like you are still uh, living and you are still have a control of your body, but it is okay. Is it okay to invalidate your struggle in your life without like any like complain or not feelings of always being grateful, right? 
because in opposition world we think like your feelings are not are, are not defined by your defined by yourself right but it is perceived by how people see you materialistically right for example like uh this privileged people is our uh, this privileged uh, this privileged people is uh, let's say they are feels like they are hopeless and they are cannot achieve their goals for example but people suddenly like deny your feelings and then think that you are have to be grateful and so on and whatnot right so let's take a comparative within the opposition world and also the opening government right at the best scenario of opposition is that how these people in the end of the day can get hope and can continue their life and uh, and so on and so forth right but they have to explain how in the how this hope in the end of the day could perceive by people and become their motivation to continue their life right because like we think like uh, like if, if just imagine yourself you are really bad on your day and then people are giving you hope like you will be successful one day and so on and so forth i don't think like this is something that very very helpful right because like we know that positive work is might be exist and you could feel like this is something like positive affirmation towards yourself and so on and so forth right but what do you actually need is that people need uh there is people who talk to you who are going to really going to relate a towards what you are going to talk towards the other people right that's how validation in our side of the house going to be works right we think like validation of other your side it's okay for you that counterfactual world in opening government side that provides it's okay for you to always keep complaining about your life regardless like how bad is your life and so on and uh, and your so, so on and whatnot you are not always to be great you don't always to be grateful no you are not always to be grateful right it's okay to always complain and so on and so forth right so that's why under our side people would likely to uh let not out see Uh, people like perceive materially so that we think like people will prioritize how exactly your feeling are right before they are taught these people to always like feel grateful right so in the end of the day people under our world will try it for will try to uh understand this uh, will more likely to try understand these people comparatively to their side right instead of just giving hope like what is what is hope for your what you already achieved but like giving some uh giving like person or at least like someone who are could be to talk to in the in the very first place right but even if under our side let's say like people have no one to talk to in the very first place we think like uh at least other other your side there is no like other person who are really try to say to you that always to be grateful right because we believe that is okay uh, it is okay when you are don't find someone who could talk to because like you know that not everybody have not all, all people have friends in the uh, not all people uh, have friends in the very first place right but what that but the the narrative that telling you that, that you always have to be grateful it could be exist anywhere right like, for example your parent or maybe like the uh, or maybe other people that are let's say like some random people inside of the social media that will taught you to always be grateful and so on and so on and, and so on and so forth right how uh, how important that uh, uh, uh validation uh, how in, uh, important that validation it is it is very look like in the, uh, in the very first place right like for example like Like when you are really desire something and you want to get something, you will do any efforts in the very first place, right? But, but when you're successful, then you are congratulation, right? But if you fail, then you will feel like the world are torn apart and you desire like you are have no uh, proper career or achievement at certain age and you don't achieve. This is going to be makes you like feels depressed and feels like failure and so on and so forth, right? And this is up, because like this is the part and stage of your life, right? That the narrative exists and taught you to always be grateful to survive because like you at least have got some. something that uh because of your struggle and so on and so forth right so you will be like feel depressed and feels like always failure and so on and, and so on and so forth right we think like by people keeping hope it's not giving them the person to talk in the uh in the uh, in the very first place right under our side when you are giving like someone person uh, or at least like there's a likely person to talk or maybe like at least there are people who are not going to be a toxic positivity to invalidate you with at least we could help them like uh, at as at some certain of spe- stepping stone right for example like people more likely to understand you or having a person to talk because like we can assume like everyone has privilege to see psychiatrist right this is only could be achieved under our side right in their world let's say like people would always like giving like giving you hope uh, uh giving you hope for example we think like it's going to be like more uh depressed and uh, going to be like more depressed and your cycle of life is will always uh, feel going to failure down because like you the moment like you are a failure people will constantly giving you hope and then your failure again people will give you another hope right so in the end of the day you will never achieve like uh the moment uh, never achieve your hope and you are going to more feel like you are depressed right comparatively under our side the moment like you are uh like yeah, you are failing for a certain times at least like people under uh, under uh, try to understand you people are not going to uh try to say that your 
tries to say that your work is not important and like and then your achievement you already have a certain achievement so that's why you need to be grateful and so on and, and so uh, and so on and so forth right that's uh, uh, alternatively look like like your feeling is not going to be defined by how people like perceive looking at you materialistically but because like your feelings is regardless your materials for example you or you may be rich but you have uh, abusive parents and then people tell you to be grateful because at, at least you are rich but the principle of the feeling is not supposed to be based on the material based on the materials right because everybody has uh, have a different feelings and the feel, uh, the feeling of feeling is very subjective in the very first place right so my next contribution is that other the social movement right we think like for example like other the social movement feels like they are finding a legitimation for example like women lgbtq community or people of color who struggle for this safe space right we think like this narrative to be grateful is to, could be them weaponized by the majority to say that at least other your uh, other our states you could still live at, at, at your own and so on and so forth right so that's why uh we in the end of the day this narrative of being grateful will make the, they are more or less helpful because like, this is going to be the justification of majority to disband the minority problem so that's why we're so proud to propose all right uh thank you deputy prime minister for the fine speech Uh, now I would like to welcome the member of opposition to open the case of closing up here. Here. Am I audible? Yes, you are. Okay, I'm gonna start my speech in three, two, one. The definitions that broke by the government team is very problematic where they always state when the moments when the moment an individual feel gratitude about their life especially when the moment they in their lowest point it means that they will not take any evaluation or create a progression about that lowest point but in our side we believe that when the moment we uh, get this kind of circumstance in life, let's say a lowest point in life, it means that we need to accept everything in our life before we moving on to a progression itself, right? That's something that never explained by the government bench. And what makes our side is different from the opening opposition. First, they, on, they only talk about how this hope can be uh, a good point to create a star movement in our life but in our set we agree about that but uh, we we're also going to talk on how people will be more realistic in their life when the moment this kind of narrative still exists swing to my argument what is the most important indicator indicator in today's debate the urgency in the current status quo people doesn't have a full control in their life right there's a lot of people who felt their life is unnecessary to maintain by all of the negativity of this life we need something that could make we keep going on life right by protect this narrative it's not only about we felt that we have something that could stimulus us to deal with our life but by this narrative it could be the last option for someone to keep surviving in their life because the characteristic of people not everyone has a capacity to run away from the problem just simply based on hard working and etc so it will be justified to say that this narrative uh, need to keep need to still exist because it could be the last option for someone to keep protecting their life so what is we're standing here under our side we believe that everyone need uh, this kind of narrative in their life despite what kind of situation in their life the first the parameter of gratitude itself is very different from others let's say if we contextualize in academic situation two people perhaps get a different score but even if the level of people background or tendency to feel upset about their life is different it doesn't it doesn't mean they don't need this kind of narrative because the basic goal of everyone is to get a piece of state of mind or in their life and the way they can achieve it is is through this kind of uh, narrative when the moment people has a gratitude means that it could create an acceptance in their life too. When the moment they already has this kind of narrative, it doesn't mean they cannot 
feel stuck about their lowest point in life. Instead of that, in our side, people would have a more awareness about their emotion towards the moment they failed in their life, and they will justify or validate everything they failed about their life. Therefore, they would have a possibility to recover and start a new move in their life. Why? Because the basic problem why people constantly dealing with something that make them upset, it is because they keep blaming circumstance or even themselves when the moment they uh, stuck in the lowest point in their life. Simply by this kind of narrative, people would have a more realistic view of life. Therefore, therefore, it would create a better individual right. And why then the impact is better? The reason why then people keep having a resilience towards the situation is because they have this kind of narrative. Why? Most people will felt unhappy when the moment they has this kind of lost point in their life or they simply get something that they uh, not expect right under the government side they believe if people should more focus on the situation in their life and they would make uh, and it would make you more realistic but the thing is we always has this kind of feelings where where we always has a part that we're not good enough as individual right in that kind of circumstance it's like really impossible to think about something good about our life, right? So it will be very impossible to think that we can have a realistic and progressive mind in under, in under the government side because we're not dealing yet with the situation that make us feel upset and etc. In our side, we believe if everything in life is very dynamic and it also influences our condition as individual, but on how we face it it would be different, right? And what is the one of the instrument that influence? It is a gratitude itself. The, this, uh, and why then this kind of concept could create a more realistic individual? When someone has a gratitude, means that the ability to deal with situation will be referred to acceptance. Moreover, when the moment they have acceptance, means that they not only deal with the situation, but they will have a more realistic to what kind of potential that they can improve in their life. Let's say someone who think that he doesn't has a good ability in certain specific thing. In our side, people will accept that he's not good in certain thing, but it's still okay because people will take that as something that is not suitable for them. And then they will search another alternative that has a more possibility that could make them feel good as individual. We proud to oppose. Thank you so much uh, for the member of opposition for the fine speech. Uh, now to close the entire debate, in proposition, I would like to welcome Gabun Wip here. here. Hey, am I audible? Yes, you are. Okay, wait, I'm going to set my timer. Mm. Events over a POI, please unmute yourself and interrupt. I'm going to start in three, two, Three main questions I'm going to answer in my speech. First, why happiness is so much worse under set of position. And second, I'm just basically directly uh, respond to closing opposition or, or extension. Second of all, why contentment is so much better under our set house. But even if we doesn't get contentment at all, why our argument like self-development is so much more important in this debate. So a last question, why being desperate of wanting something more is so much better or, or, rather than being comfortable and happy with your current situation, which is basically the production of this uh, this whole uh, narrative, right? First question then, under why happiness is so much worse under side opposition. The first thing, the one of the thing that one of the argument that coming from closing opposition is that under our house we face so many bad that we basically face so many bad things. Thus, we need something to be happy. That's like this basically. That, that's why this narrative is needed. So it's basically something that will provide a happiness while other world or while other perspective, while other actors actually be very beneficial, uh, very give like negative things to us. Three reasons, if I can prove to you on why happiness is not any better or like this some sort of happiness is not that significant, I think I can tackle this argument exactly because it's the happiness that you will get is not worth it to actually tackle all of the bad things that you face, right? Few reasons on why happiness not any better on the desert house uh, either then. First of all, being grateful at your current position right now, forcing yourself to be happy. Like you don't be satisfied with the current salary you have, which I think is some sort of the same condition, which like you are forcing yourself to be happy when you're when you're 
when your children cry because they get dropped out from school because you're unable to pay for their for for their tuition, for example, you can force your you, yes, you're your able wife. to force yourself to be happy at that current condition. But I don't think and how this narrative forces you to be happy at that current condition. How you are able and how you are forced to find conditions or things that you are supposed to that you can be grateful at. I think this. Uh, the fact that your children are getting dropped out from school, are getting kicked out from school, uh, from being unable to pay for the tuition, for example, still make you sad, right? So by this itself, I think it's some sort of blurry happiness that I, I don't think is something that are significant. Happiness is also not going to be better from this narrative because it's completely out of people's agency or their choices. When this narrative exists, people expect you to be grateful. Like, oh, you should be grateful that you're breaking this competition, for example, or you should be grateful that you're the blah, 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 right? Which means, first, you are not that happy because those people that expect you don't engage with the externalities or private situations or story that they don't face. Which means, under your side of the house, there's so many externalities that affect your happiness or current mental state, Yo, which would I... make you less even happier. Under your side of the house, uh, under your side of house people uh, there's since this economic or for the situations exist i don't think you're going to be that happy but second of all you are not that happy because you use someone else even if the other people even if that this like oh you should be grateful is a way for someone is like always successfully used first by someone that's why they give it to you you are not that you don't no, like high guarantee that you are going to be happy because you use someone else's ways of some of uh, to as like co- as a coping mechanism, for example. But it leads into my second question. No, thank you. Why contentment is so much better under our house? But even if we doesn't get contentment at all, why our argument like sort of fulfillment is so much better? Well, we told you. We told you that we have better contentment because under some proposition, we would recognize that where you are right now, that it is something that you want to move on from, right? The amount of satisfaction or happiness that will be gone under our house will be able to move through the situation and the condition to like someone that some where they are so much better is going to be like a real happiness compared to the rest of the house. Three points of weighing or why this is a very crucial this debate. First, because development or self-development in general is actually about the individual happiness and contentment right now, right, right? Or our benefit extend so that it's going to be beneficial for the community. Our benefit are the benefit that will help our community through our motivation of wanting more and more. But even in the worst case, happiness under our house is literally zero or not existent at all. Why is self-development that we got from so much that we got are so much important, which by the way, only exists under our house. First, the benefit you will get from self-development is the permanent or more long-term, which basically uh, uh, compared to happiness that exists under this house, where it's literally somewhat more like being forced. You just think, oh, I'm happy with my current condition right now. It's not even last for like 10 seconds or 10 minutes, right? Even an extreme reason for happiness, like you win a competition, I think the happiness you get will like last for one hour for the longest. Under our side, we are more involved in something we are exclusively at because it, how is the long term at this? Because we're talking about self development, like self development or development for like a whole system, for example. Second, we are to the extent of beneficial for our community, not individual only. Under the house, I think since when you are forced yourself to be grateful, you do it alone and doesn't do anything that practical. Compared to proposition, when you are not comfortable with how the current system that treats you and your community, you demand and you demand, and if they provide you follow and follow what you want, you will not only help yourself and individual, uh, only help one people, but millions of other people inside of community. But even if the, the main benefit is very individual, only grateful with my leadership, uh, I'm ungrateful with my uh with my leadership skills right now, and you want to improve at that, you still benefit your juniors and people that work for you. And it doesn't house it's literally since it's first and only like coming from yourself, like oh I'm I need to be grateful for my position right now. I need to even engage with what you think you need to improve on. I don't think you even benefit from anyone else, right? Just like what CEO says that we are not go- that we are going to blame everything around us. I think it's just like underprivileged people blaming the government for things they couldn't get they couldn't fix, for example. Or like minorities blaming for the government for not putting or creating any policies that would help achieving uh it's easier to achieve equality. But second question here then, why being desperate of wanting something more or being uh, or and or being uh, is so much better compared to being comfortable and happy with being broke or having zero dollars in your bank account? It is actually directly respond to our old case. They want to talk about how grateful is, is leading into motivation and this myth, this narrative basically told you like how it would like make you happy and want you to like um, achieving things that are so much better. I think our extension where we talk about self-development and how they seek into someone that are better or want to make something better flip this game perfectly. First of all, because we characterize that gratefulness is nowhere near motivation at getting better, right? Exactly because you're already grateful for your current state condition, you are grateful where you're at right now, that you doesn't feel the need to improve it, which leads your whole claim about motivation or one thing or keep going because you doesn't even know what you want and what, uh, because you doesn't even 
know what to improve on in the first place. But yes, we agree with some extent that in some cases, happiness for poor people are needed. But the question then becomes, which one is more beneficial for these poor people? One, being desperate of wanting something more. Or second, being comfortable and happy with zero there in your bank account. The reason why I mean desperate of wanting something more to exist or better are so much better under us house are so much better first of all desperate of wanting something that to exist or better can be about yourself under us house because now you are not because you are not happy i think you will be seeking for happiness and, to, and which in result is coming from your own agency coming from your own choices you will be so much happier Second, even if the other doesn't house you are happy, I think you can't force happiness. When you see your children cry because they have to drop out from the school, or you can't be happy when you see your wife or husband leave you because you are broke. In this same scenario, we are not stuck or forced or feeling comfortable on the side proposition instead of telling yourself to calm down or like being grateful at your current condition or trying to find things to be grateful at or fulfilling other people's expectations to be happy. We find things 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 coming from to be so much better all right uh thank you so much uh for the government whip for the fine speech uh now to close the entire debate i would like to welcome the opposition whip here here uh first thing first am i audible yes you are okay so before i start my speech you could give your POI in the chat box. Thank you. So I'll start my speech in three, two, one panels. Since the first, uh, since the first opening government until the closing government's team, there are no explanation of people's parameter of being grateful from the government side of the house. They keep saying under their set of their house, they will also get the grateful if they get what they have achieved already. But under their side, they are also doesn't give any parameter of this characteristic of people. For example, the disability of people, how could they become grateful? There are no parameter of how they face or when they will become grateful itself, ladies and gentlemen. That's the point. That is why they couldn't win the debate today. From the first opening government, they said that uh, in their side, it will normalize complaining itself. Well, then what is the output of keeping complaining rather than evaluating yourself? Under our side, we will also evaluate ourselves by also uh, looking towards what advantages we got in our side, what advantages we got in our life, what is the skills that we have better than other people. That, that is what grateful, grateful, grateful that we always wanted to propose today, ladies and gentlemen. Second, they said that people forced to be grateful just because of other of other factors. For example, uh, a low profile people or poor people are being grateful because they still have parents. So the condition of how people could be happy are not only, they said they, their uh, perception of these motions, the condition of how people could be happy are only referring to struggles, to how they finish their struggles, not how to see what advantage they got in their life and how to be grateful of it. So for that, you will be you you will have a motivation from the point of your gratefulness. You will have the point of motivation where you could upgrade yourself, where where you could have the hope to reach what you should got, ladies and gentlemen. The third point that they keep stating: our validation makes us happy which there are that I've stated from the first of my point that there are no parameter of people to be grateful in low conditions. Let's say people in low conditions, we couldn't set their parameter to be grateful as the same as the, as the rich people. How rich people would be grateful and how poor people would be grateful. Because what, what my first speaker or, or what the closing oppositions, my partner have stated that the, there are the people in the low uh, in, in, in a low life has the point of acceptance in life, which means the, the parameter of being grateful are not the same with rich people. Let's say that they have the uh, food to it for the next three days. That is the parameter of their being grateful. And that is failed to be explained by the government side of the house, ladies and gentlemen, how they can characterize those kind, those typical of people, those uh, People, they keep generating that people uh, should be focused on themselves, should be uh, upgrading themselves without being grateful of what would they have. And the uh, fourth point that they kept uh, saying or they kept validates is how their world will become hopeful under the government set of the house. At the end of the day, we believe that the parameter of being happy are not always referring to rich 
or poor, healthy, and safe. The parameter of being grateful itself is how we can accept and how we could find the peace in our life. So that is the place or that is the parameter how we will be grateful. Even though people have their own struggles, but we couldn't set that the, the parameter of being grateful are to be rich, are to be healthy, are to be uh, are to be something, uh, are to be successful, are to be good in debate and etc. We couldn't set that kind of parameter, ladies and gentlemen. Under the closing government set, the house, they keep stating that self, uh, by being grateful, you don't feel that there is any urgency in our world, which means this was something good that we will handle our, our problem by calmly and knowing that we have also advantage, advantages rather than other people under us or above us, which means we will make it, it calmly and not panicking under their side of the house because they said that there is urgency to finish or to, uh, or to be, or to upgrade it day by day. Second, they kept saying about uh, social, about the, sorry, uh, they kept talking about self-development, but they didn't explain on how, when the moment at their, the people at their lowest point in life and has tendency to feel mad about the circumstance would immediately reach that stage without any deal their current problem, which means people, uh, people in our side, in both of the side are not always upgrading, but could also or there is a possibility for them to be downgraded, which means they didn't have the consideration of how, what is the point, or when the people have the downgraded side will deal with the condition itself, ladies and gentlemen. In our side, we tend to be grateful if of everything we got. We tend to say people, we tend to narrate people to be grateful of everything we got. So even though they are in the worst condition, when they are downgraded, ladies and gentlemen, they still have the point, they still have the power to be grateful itself, not being demotivated under, uh, like under government side of the house because of what? Because they couldn't reach something, even worse, they are downgraded, ladies and gentlemen. Also, under the opposition, uh, under the opening opposition side of the house, uh, they could win this debate today, but uh, unfortunately, they failed. What is the failure? They failed to explain the power of hope in grateful itself. Our side believes the concept of personal parameter is the power of hope itself, but they keep stating there is the power of hope. Uh, power of hope will uh, bring us towards the grateful, but there are no uh, explanation. We explain that there are parameters, parameters of people. So that parameters could decide where people could hope. I hope tomorrow I can eat. That is the parameters of the of, of how poor people could be grateful. That is what we wanted to uh, state today, ladies and gentlemen. Second, they also failed to link on how struggles and grateful are connected to each other, which in our side, we said that People, even though in struggles and uh, people doing struggles are keep narrated to be grateful, even though they are downgraded, ladies and gentlemen, in, even though they have the worst case under their side, ladies and gentlemen. Also, uh, as, a, as an advantage point for our team, why our team should win today? Because one, everyone has their own struggles. Rich people, poor people, healthy people, disabled people have their own struggles. The way they felt happy are being grateful with their advantage. That's what we always stated, ladies and gentlemen. Here is the, uh, here's the additional point. Why religion taught us to, be, to always be grateful, ladies and gentlemen, why? because it is proposed to find peace in ourselves because of considering that we still have something at least as our defense as our defense mechanism to stay alive ladies and gentlemen and best case scenario under the government set of, of the house there will be validation from other our worst case scenario that there will be uh, peop, uh, doesn't stop people to work hard but people will still have the grateful under their life thank you